That's right, guys. We got another computer! Yeah! What's up, guys? It's me, right now, me, and today, it's been a while since we filmed on the desk. Which, as you can tell, today's video is kind of special. And as of the time right now, it's 8.35 at night. Which means I have been waiting all day for this to arrive. No, I didn't order this on Amazon. I got this thing for free. And no, I didn't order this on eBay or went to Goodwill. Because Goodwill does not have any computers at all. Now, if you don't know what this thing is, this is a desktop. What kind? Well, let me tell you, it's a Dell version. It's a Windows 7 model, which you know is going to run very well. And we got an Intel i5 core CPU. So this thing either it could be a 2010 two, or two, a, two, a 2009 or 2010 computer. I didn't do any research on this because my my uncle has a friend who knows a lot a lot of technology, but I do know more about it about technology. Oh my my laptop decided to go in screensaver mode. So yeah, the reason I had I had to turn the lights on is because of this because the lights I have. Up in my monitor, the other one are not really that bright. So yeah, this time for the first time ever, yeah, I already did a video with the lights on. So for the second time ever, we're going to have these lights on, and we have another computer. So how about we take a look at of it, shall we? So the first obvious thing we got: disk drive, two USB ports, a microphone, headphone jack. And this thing was ve it's very small, I can tell, but it's very heavy. <clears throat> I will not show you the top. Oh wait, I will show you. And I'm covering this part with my hand because the top of this thing is the product key. And I want to keep that product key to myself, so no free product key for you. Anyway, in the back, you can't really see it that well up there. Hold on, let me just adjust this real quick. There we go. On the top, we have a PlayStation 2 keyboard port and a PlayStation 2 mouse port. A display port. I don't have a display port that that has HDMI in it. But we do have VGA, which I have a, a lot of monitors that support GT that supports VGA. And we move into the bottom. We got one, two. Three, four, five, six USB ports, an Ethernet jack, a headphone jack again, and a microphone jack again, I think. And in here, I don't know what, and I don't know what this cable, is, what this port is. But we got two other USB ports, and finally, the last port, the obvious one, the power supply port, which I do have the power supply right here. Now, since I don't have a display port that transfer to HDMI where I wasn't even going to do a capture card I wasn't even going to use a capture card for this so yeah anyways how about we hook it up but first let's open it up and see what's inside of this thing all right welcome to new angle ignore that shell right there that's ignore that purple thing right there that's my mom's thing that she likes to put in my room but anyway Let's open this up, and to open everything, you need just one latch. And hopefully, if I slide this up or down, I don't know which way it is. Do I need to take out some screws? Let me check. No, uh, apparently. Oh wait, I think I do. Oh wait, that's the power supply screws. I don't know if this thing even works at all. So, so I don't know if I'm going to be disappointed. This thing does not even turn on. But I need to check if this thing even has a hard drive or an SSD. It's a Windows 7 computer, of course it's going to have a hard drive. Oh my god, I can't even open this thing. I Either I need a lot of strength or... I don't know. I need to check. It's probably going to turn into a long video, into a very, very long video, so strap on. Uh, what? There's no screw, so unless there's actually something I'm missing. I don't know if I... Oh, no. I'm not looking inside that power supply. I don't know if you saw that. Because I wasn't paying attention to the camera. 
But I see. Oh, I had to lift it up oh, the entire time, bro. Well, anyway, welcome to the inside. And like you can tell, this is a typical 2009 or 2010 computer module. Of course, we got the fancy disk drive. I don't know if it's that fancy. I don't know where it's the hard drive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to go very, very deep in there. So, I don't know if I really need to go that deep to find a hard drive. But, how about before we get disappointed that this thing does not work, let's see if this thing even turns on. So, let's just check this back in. I thought this thing you had to just... Oh, I thought this thing was like most other regular computers, where you can just... Where you can just like pull from the back. Like, pull from the back. Holding this, I. I bet I dented this thing. Oh, I won't even go back in now. Oh, I had to do it larger. Well, anyway, how about we turn back to the regular angle and see if this works? Alright, I have the computer plugged into VGA. I didn't put the power, the power cable on because sometimes computers will just. When you when you plug some some computers when you plug it in to the electricity, you don't if you don't press the power button they literally just turn on by themselves. But they just do a fan check. So anyway, I'm just going to go to here, uh, VGA, and this thing will automatically turn back to HDMI, the Roku TV thing. So I unless I the thing that shows my timer at the time for my videos when I do on the desk. So let's, okay, got the power thing on. Oh, it's, oh, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's actually, oh, just turn off. Yeah, the yeah thing that I said, yeah, it did. It's, so, it, so that could be a good sign that this thing works. So let's switch back and turn it on. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, turn off. Oh no. No, it's not turning back on. I hope it doesn't mean bad. Oh, now it turned on fully. Oh. It's not. Just don't make... Fine, I'm going to unplug this power supply. I'm going to disconnect the Roku thing that shows the time. I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to switch it to... VGA. And I'm going to turn it on again. Oh wait, I just unplugged the power supply. I don't have the computer. The computer is here. It's just you can't see it because it's not in the frame. Anyway. It's not turning on now again. Oh crap. Oh. I didn't plug in the power supply correctly. Hold on, let me just zoom in real quick. Alright guys, I zoom in and the computer decided to turn on automatically, I'm not joking. Oh, there it is! Oh, that's a very old Dell logo. What's it doing? Let's see what- oh. What is this? Intel boot- oh, it, we didn't even get to do anything. Is it going to boot to Windows 7? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Let me just remove this thing. Please stop. What is this? Oh, you can't really see anything. Oh my god. Let me read it to you. Invalid configuration firmware. Please run setup program. Time of bug. Please setup select. Press F1. Press to continue F1 key. Why is my keyboard not working? Is my keyboard broken? I'd use this keyboard earlier and it was working fine. Is this keyboard broken? Do I need a PlayStation 2 keyboard and mouse? I don't have a PlayStation 2 keyboard and mouse. <sighs> Do I need to unplug this thing and replug it back in? I have to take this thing out just to just for just for all of you guys to see it. What happens if I plug in the front? Still nothing. 
Okay, guys, let me get my wireless, my wired keyboard because I'm using a wireless keyboard. Remember this guy? I think I already mentioned this. I don't know. Anyway, let me get a wireless keyboard. All right, I got a wired keyboard now. I don't, I don't have one. I have to go to another room to find it. But anyway, we'll have it for. Still nothing. You're serious. Is this keyboard broken too? Or is this a USB port? Let me try a different one. Or this thing needs to restart. Man, I don't even know what OS this thing is running. Could be either running default Windows 7 or something else. The only way I can tell this thing works is by the caps lock key. Or not. Do I need to restart this? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna try to restart this. PC. Let's see if it fixes it itself. Let's restart it. Hold on the power button. That's weird. And I'm gonna try the wireless keyboard again. I accidentally said wireless keyboard when I was trying to say wired keyboard. So I apologize for that. But the good thing is the disk drive actually came out. This thing has a disk drive. Okay. It's a, uh, if you're wondering, it's a Dell Ultiplex. You already saw the thing two times. Okay, Intel. What OS this thing is running anyways? You want to put the bets in the comment? Because I don't. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, now it works. Does it work? Oh, wait, let me grab my wireless one. I don't know. But this keyboard does not have indicators for cap slot. And it apparently does not work now. I'm gonna try the wire keyboard now. Or I, or I should try to indicate this USB thing to the back one. Or should I try to grab? Oh, it just started itself. Oh, great. I don't know if this thing's running regular Windows 7 or not. Can I try to press F? Oh. Oh. Oh, I can tell one is running Windows 7. But the problem is somebody messed up the Windows 7 thing. It's not doing recovery. I can't press any keys. What about the mouse? Does it work? The mouse works. It could be the keyboard. That's broken. The mouse works, but the keyboard could probably be broken. I don't remember. I remember I have good keys. Let me try my regular desktop keyboard. The one that I regularly use every day. Not, uh, not every day. Let's take out this dongle but let's read the error do you want to enter the computer into restore mode no thank you let's see what this computer had I want to see what this computer had before so I'm gonna plug this dongle into the USB back sorry this is this is not turning out well but you already know the nature well it works does the keyboard work okay so this one does work so it could be either a keyboard problem what is this? Cancel. Sure, I don't get. I don't care. Cancel. What? What are you talking about? I just want. Oh my god! I need to unplug this thing. Also, when I press the power button, it feels mushy. Like it doesn't really feel it. Oh, just make a noise. Let me just go into BIOS, real quick. Okay, guys, I'm in the. But the Dell version of the BIOS, damn, this is probably an old version of the BIOS, of the Dell BIOS, because look at this. I know that, I know for a fact that this is, that on modern Dell laptops, this logo does not show up, I guarantee you. What? Yeah, I don't know how to navigate this, this BIOS very well, so how about we just quit? Oh, it's just... Yeah, it's not really going that well as planned. I don't know if this USB that I'm probably going to be using. But boot options, no thank you. Let's just boot to the default OS. I wonder, can I install Tiny11 on this thing? That's pro hey, that's a video, that's probably another video. That's for another video. Anyways, that's it. Show the boot. Oh, okay. Start Windows normally. Oh. Uh.
Oh, okay, so we're running Windows 7. This has got to be the luckiest coincidence because in order for having this, you need this computer to not be to not be out and connected to the internet for many years. And this, I just heard something. Oh, that was just me. Oh, there is speakers on this thing. Great. Uh, can I just show you what this thing is? Password. Are you kidding me? What version of Windows are we running? Oh, we're running Win we're running Windows 7 Home Edition. I can see in the bottom. Yeah. Oh, this is Ultimate. Oh, wait. I think it is Ultimate. Hold on, guys. Let me just take you out of this real quick. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, I can't take you out really quick. So, I can tell this is Windows 7 Ultimate. Yeah, I can probably tell that from a couple of miles away unless it says home. Let me check for a real quick. Oh, never mind. But anyways, the... Oh, I just turned off. I don't know what... Wait, did I just... No. Do I just need to brute force this, th force this thing? I can't do that. Anyway, whoever's used... Whoever's person is watching this video right now, whoever that person that person's username, if that person's username, whoever that per, the last person on this video wa is watching this, because I literally just showed your username on Windows Seven. If you're watching this video right now, you cannot have your computer back. This is mine now. For user, I don't know what's that, but I hope it doesn't need any bad. I could probably tell this thing was used for school, but I can see this is Windows 7 Ultimate. Hold on, let me check real quick. Well, to my knowledge, I just learned that this thing is Windows 7 Ultimate. Wait, there's a button here. Can I switch to guess? Wait, there's another? Are you serious? I can switch to different users. But this one has a transparent picture. That's weird. Accessibility. No, thank you. I'm not blind. Well, anyways, how about just turn this computer off? Let's shut it down. And I heard there was speakers in here. And for some reason, the front panel is actually starting to come off. I can feel it. Oh, okay. So, there's really nothing we can do at all. That's I want to delete System32. Let's just make sure that this thing is the correct USB drive that has the Ventoy and all my Windows operating systems in. So let's plug it into the computer. Back USB ports. Apparently I'm not, I have not tested all these USB ports. I have to do that sometime. But now let's get to the good stuff. A Ventoy. Also known as installing Windows 7 default. Let's just an boot option. Okay, boot, boot, boot. F12. I'm pressing F12. Tell me you picked up F12. You're serious. It didn't pick up F12. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay, we were made it to this screen for some reason. I don't see the option for USB drive. Does this thing not support USB drives? I don't know. This is the OG version of the Dell boot boot options version. If you know about Dell and boot options, you probably it, it will look different. This one looks very different. But USB device. I hope Vento is inside here, and I didn't pick the wrong one. Oh, I just blinked. Is this the wrong one? Oh, there we go. First try, baby. I don't know which one we should try. But I got more videos planned. Don't worry, the Sony Vivo laptop will not be left out. Pretty face. Let's just try install Windows 7. I said I don't know which one it was. Oh, wait, there it is. Install Windows 7. Get rid of the numpad. Install. Because there is, there is no way I'm going to brute, try to brute force the original user just to see what password they have. 
And I don't know if this thing's running a hard drive on SSD because I'm not going to do the deep dive right now. And I hope this thing supports Aeroglass because maybe I can turn this thing into the ultimate Windows 7 machine. And why did the thing turn black? Oh, there we go. We have Windows 7. Alright. For some reason it's too big. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you hear background noises, well, TVs, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it, but if you hear the computer, you can hear that it's kind of loud. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's too many partitions. Well, which one should I delete? I guess all of them, because none of them make any sense. Alright, and now we're clear to install. Alright, and now you know the drill. It's time for the waiting time. Ah, cue the... Cue the time lamps if there is going to be any, I think. Alright, it finally finished installing. Now it's time to put in my name. I gotta make sure it's site. Windows. Six five zero two. That's a classic. No password, we don't care about that. Oh hell no. No no I don't want that. I said we don't care about password. Got the key. I'm not sure if I want to use the product key that's already in here. I'm not sure if they install Windows 7 Ultimate sep in a separately or Windows 7 Home Premium was a thing. It was installed. No, oh, thank you. Day and time. Oh. That was quick. Alright. It's time to wait. This thing? What? I'm not sure this thing has a hard drive in here because I know SSD were probably not a thing or probably they were a thing but they were not that popular I don't know I don't know also I was I had plans to install this on my different monitor that I have oh we have sound like I said I had I had plans to install <laughs> to put to use the other monitor I have that has VGA but I just decided to use the closest one well, anyway, as you can see, we don't even have drivers in here. I don't even know if I can connect to the internet. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't tell me we can't connect to the internet. Personalize. But there is sound. You just can't really hear it. So let me just... Yeah, the speakers from the front and, and the devices, the computers. Way out in the side. But anyway, let me just adjust the resolution. Yeah, we're gonna make it that apply. Let's make it widescreen. Keep it. Yeah, now we have widescreen, but we don't have internet. Do I need to find drivers for this computer? <sighs> probably. Uh, probably. But first, I need to test that the disk drive works on the OS computer. Oh, that's full. Yep. <sighs> anyway. Sweet. Anyway, let me just find some drivers online and see if I... I'm going to try to see if I can find some drivers online. Probably the Dell PC would be more easier than the than the Sony Vivo computer laptop. Because those drivers for that one, I think they're probably long gone. Well, anyways, how about I just put this thing back in? I put it... I had it in the center. I don't know if the center... I don't know if that's the center. Probably there. I don't know. I'll fix it later. Anyways, let me see if I can find some drivers. Uh, 
All right. I got the drivers, but for some reason Windows is not liking it. It's on this. U it's on my USB drive, a different one. And all these files, I I just have to make it more easy to access. But hopefully this is a good driver. These are coming from the official Dell website. And boy, it was too large to. F if, oh boy, it took me a long time for this thing to load. I don't know if all the drivers are in here. Well, all I know is that it took like a bunch of gigabytes. Don't worry, I use an ad blocker so that way no malicious ads are going to fake me. But I'm pretty sure that once I connect this computer to the internet, it's probably going to get a lot of virus. Okay, that is probably not true for most cases. But it could be true from some other cases. We're still on that machine. If you can't hear it, sorry, I can't move it to, to the shot unless you want half of the view to be covered. Oh, there we go. We have all the files. Oh, jeez. This is a lot of files. What did I just open? How do you expect me to open up? Is this all the files? All of them? No, in that case, I'll just transfer them here. Oh boy, I forgot about this. And by the way, I did test all the USB drives. The ones that didn't work were the ones that looked like a PCIe Express card, USB hub slots, the ones that had the blue ones. Yeah, those. I don't. I don't know if they if they don't work with Windows 7 or if they are working. It's just I need a specific driver. I don't know. Even if I wanted to remove them. The shielding on this computer does not even have any, unless I can find them on the inside. But it's not rattly. And I don't know if this computer has a hard drive or an SSD. I'm most... It, the highest chance I could think of is that it, it has a hard drive. Alright, got the entire thing. Let's just make sure we never see this. Wait, I'm actually wondering. I know this is a game file, but... No. You still need internet. Shut off. Close everything. Oh no, I just. Okay. Oh, fine. Okay. Let's open this. Okay. Oh, there, it's all the files. And in order, the people that are talking right now. But I don't know. Oh, why are these photos? Huh? Shut up. Are these supposed to be wallpapers? Uh. Sure, continue or something. I don't know. I just, I just don't know if those are photos or not. I don't know. It says the photo icon. Shut up. Anyway, let's see if we can install the driver. Sure. Just let me install. I think these are drivers. Uh, let me give me a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back with probably the drivers installed. Let me see what. I, let me see if I can install these drivers real quick. I'm gonna try. Okay, so there has been a lot going on. So there's nothing changed because there's a literal problem. The, the drivers I installed, I, I downloaded from Dell's official website. There's a ton of files. And I tried every single one of them individually. None of them work. At all. And this has been a lot going on. And I tried the Internet Archive. The problem is, their ISO image, meaning that I had to wait like an intro billions of years for that to download. So what's the next plan? Probably none. But we can still try out the Windows 7 games. Shut up. Shut up. Let me try out the Windows 7 games. Oh wait, first I want to try out something. Oh my god, I forgot about the I forgot about that, yeah. Let's try out the music. Let's see Windows 7. Uh, recommended settings. I said the one. Yep. 
Now you can clearly hear this. Now you can clearly hear the speakers. That's enough. I'm I'm scared to get copyrighted. Let's play some chess. Shut up. Sure, I just wanted to play a quick game. Sure. Let's see how fast I lose. Yep. You're gonna watch me play chess. Isn't it? Yeah, that's why you should run. Just give me a couple of seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Can I destroy the horse? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm bored. Don't save it. How about a purple palace? Oh, man. Oh, that works. Look at the quality. Look at that delay. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just zoom in real quick. Look at that delay. Oh. Oh my god, let's try this. The good thing about it is that the sound works. That's something that came out of the box. Most machines. Oh my god. No, I don't want to save this. Oh. Let's leave. Tony, anyway, I don't know what else to do. Should I delete system 32? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's not do that. The last time that happened, we ended up in a bad rabbit hole. Even though I never deleted system 32. But anyway, that's it for this. For this video now we got a new PC to join in the family of only two computers but three but I'm talking about the ones that do YouTube videos on but anyway if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff and comment comment down below and comment down below in the comment section if the comments are not disabled and tell me what I should do next with this computer the one thing I will not allow is no giveaway. No giveaway. No. You're not getting one. This is mine. Anyway. That's it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.